Hi, welcome to Prepper Tips. It's November 11th, 2013. Happy Veterans Day um, to all the veterans and also to my sister and to my niece, Jessica. Thank you for serving. Um, today I want to talk about a way of cooking. Um, I've seen, these are called, this is a six hour chafing dish fuel. So it's liquid and you just take the lid off and light it with a match or a lighter and it just flames up. So I've seen these in uh, at a Hispanic buffet where they were cooking tortillas. So it, under each corner they just had the, the cooking surface on bricks. So you would just have a brick on each corner and then um, one of these underneath the, the pan. They just had sitting on um, on the bricks and then one of these under it and they were cooking tortillas on it. So I wanted to let you know about this easy way of cooking um, if you lose power or whatever you don't have to cook outside you don't necessarily have to do a hobo stove you can do this also so that's a, a pretty easy way. Also though, on YouTube I saw this thing and you can't trust everything on YouTube so I haven't done it yet but they said you could take a little bit of gasoline and put styrofoam in it. Um, I think they just said for a day, you just put styrofoam in the gasoline and it makes it into um, a cooking gel or maybe a fire starter gel. So I've seen it done on YouTube, but you never know if they're really doing it or editing it weird. Um, so, um, I mean, I don't want to get hurt or, you know, make something toxic. And I don't want to tell people that you can make a fire starter gel or a, a cooking fuel out of gasoline and styrofoam. It looked like it worked. It, I mean, they just had some gasoline. They put the styrofoam in it. Um, it soaked it all up. Um, they dripped the, 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 you know, the rest of the gasoline out and it was a gel. So, um... I'm not saying to try that. I'm saying to look into it because I'm not brave enough to try it yet. So today I have a comment on Chuck Baldwin at uh, LibertyFellowshipMT.com. Liberty Fellowship MT stands for Montana. Chuck Baldwin yesterday was um, preaching. I recommend watching him every week. Uh, it's at 1.30 my time Pacific I guess that's 2:30 um, his time but uh, he witnessed um, when they had some tornadoes come through um, everybody was waiting in line for ice and everybody was allowed to buy one bag of ice and um, the guy ahead of him um, wanted two bags of ice and and they refused his second bag and he pulled out a hundred dollar bill and said you know I want two bags of ice and they gave it to him he paid a hundred dollars for a bag of ice um, and that reminded me of Revelation 6 6 then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying a quart of wheat for a day's wages and three quarts of barley for a day's wages so you know this is to me a hundred dollars is about a day's wage right now um, it's a living wage. You can get by uh, if you if you made a um, hundred dollars a day. You know you could pay your mortgage. You could um, get an economy car and 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 pay for the gasoline insurance and all the uh, bills that you have in America. Hundred bucks a day will get you by. So to me, that's a um, a day's wage. So these little things are just reminders to. You know, I believe we're in the end times, but, you know, even if we weren't, it's still a reminder that the Lord is coming. If we really need food, you know, and if you don't have the cash, there's going to come a time when we're not going to be able to afford it. So, even though that's not what happened in the example, the ice didn't cost $100. He offered them $100 for a second bag. Um, but uh, in a way, it's just a reminder. 
every little thing should remind us of Jesus and um, because that's what counts the eternal things of this life is what counts um, okay well Lord bless you and um, it is November 11th 2013